Hey, hey, what is going on everybody? East Tactics here. And what you're looking at right there is what a desk should look like for an RC enthusiast. So this video guys is the first video in the June competition where I'm gonna be showcasing the first five entries for the jump competition. I wanna give a big shout out to the first five individuals and I'll be looking for more to come. So let me explain a little bit of the method behind the madness here. First thing first, check out how clean my vehicle is. You know what? She cleans up nice, right? The other thing I wanted to point out real quick is I've got both of these installed now in the back for the modification for the bottom section of the wing mount. Watch this video if you want details on this modification. And when I ordered this part AR721435, comes in a pack of four, I ordered two packs. So I will be giving these in the East Tactics Mod Box compilation for the winner of the June competition. Check it out guys. These fans showed up and I've been busy getting them set up. So basically what I wanted to show you is out of the 10 fans that I ordered, came in a pack of 10, so I did throw one of them on my vehicle and I ended up losing it in a bash session because um, I just had a really hard hit and the fan came off. Now I did order longer screws to basically, I have way too many honestly. I probably didn't need this many screws, but you know what? If I'm gonna be doing the East Tactics mod box compilations for years to come, I'm gonna need a lot of these because I give eight of them away and every time I get, um, you know, give away the dual power fan setup. Right here you're looking at all of the all of the heat sinks that I ordered, one, two, three, four. And here I've got the ESC mounts. These, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get again. So these right here, you can buy these in different ways and shapes and forms from eBay, but this is a really cool, unique one that's offset. So the first few Modbox winners are gonna be getting this offset one, which is really cool because it allows you to offset. So yep, you see how it, see right here how it's offset this direction so you can get your rod through and it's just nice you don't see that anywhere only recall 565 was making this cool mod and now i can't find his parts anymore on ebay which is a shame so i'm hoping that he kind of reactivates his his store again um would love to see that so anyway guys the other thing i wanted to tell you was the modification that I'm doing to these fans to make sure that the shock mitigation is in place. These are already really strong fans, but I did find the weakness whenever I broke this fan. And I'm addressing it um, in two ways. One, I bought a different type of sorbothane. I bought 70 duro sorbothane instead of 40 duro, which is not only is it a little bit thicker, but it's also a little bit less tacky. The fact that it's thicker though would have been a problem unless I had this longer screw which you can see here is a good measure longer. So now whenever I tack this thing through, the threads are gonna go deeply through this with some red Loctite. It's not going anywhere now, which, which is the important thing. Um, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the modification. So I'll be dropping a video that goes through the explanation of this and why I feel like this is gonna actually improve the strength of these fans. Um, at least double the strength for that weakness point that I, uh, and I'll point out that weakness point in the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, now before we get into the first five videos of the East Tactics June Jump Competition, which is the distance jump, I first wanna give a big thanks out to our sponsors, guys. So the sponsors for the East Tactics Jump Competition have been, for the last two months, and for the months moving forward, first, starting with M2C Racing, providing a $100 gift card to the number one jump of the month. Now, that is provided to the number one jump of the month, and the next prize is gonna be prize number two, which is what I call the Commenters Rally. Commenters who leave their comments in the top five videos who are vying for M2C's $100 gift card. Right there, you're looking at the list of the five from last month. Their videos will be scrubbed by a random comment picker, which will determine the winner for prize number two, which includes East Tactics Modbox compilation, including two high-powered fans. You look, you see here, I'm setting them up right now. That also included in the East Tactics Modbox compilation is a bunch of random tactics, including the latest new tactic right here on the back end of your rig, which is gonna be supplying two of these rods that you could 
choose to utilize to tank out the rear section of your wing mount. Now that is just one of the many mods in the East Tactics mod box compilation. The next sponsor is Pyro Nitro. These are awesome fan covers. Check out Pyro Nitro's website in the description. 3DRC is gonna also be in the description and you definitely wanna head over there and another sponsor is RC LiPo, providing you with a 6S100C 5200 milliamp powered battery, brand new, out of the box. And I don't know if you guys caught wind of this, but I mentioned it in a previous video. I just secured a brand new sponsor for the East Tactics Jump Competition, who's gonna be involved in June, July, and August. And what goods is he gonna be bringing to the table, and who is he? None other than Garage Life RC. Guys, right here you're looking at a front bumper and a wing mount for the sledge. Now the winner of the jump competition, if you own a sledge, is gonna get these two parts. If you do not own a sledge, he will shoot you out a shirt in your size, a Garage Life RC shirt, okay? Now, he has a website that I'm now adding into the description of this video. Guys, remember what I say about supporting our sponsors. If you support our sponsors and you send me a message in any way, shape, or form, or mention that you've done something in regards to supporting our sponsors, then this gives you more leeway if your jump is coming close to being a winner. If I'm pulling in five videos and I find that two of them are really neck to neck, I'm gonna be looking for participation to see who edges out the other. Maybe you left a comment saying you went over to 3DRC's website and picked up a wing mount or you jumped over to MTC or now Garage Life RC guys. Jump over to his website. Just a little bit about Garage Life RC. He has his own website. Again, link in the description. Right now he's got some parts that are focused on the sledge. He's even providing a hard to find motor and ESC for the sledge if you need a combo for that. He also just finds some of the hard to find things he throws on his website. He's going to be expanding his 3D print library and he's gonna be expanding his store in general. So the winner of the jump competition, if they have a sledge, are gonna get these two parts. If you don't have a sledge, he'll be shooting you over a shirt in your size. Thank you again to Garage Life RC for joining the competition sponsors. All right, and that is enough chatter for one evening. I'm gonna quickly jump over to the first five entries of the June Jump competition, and here we go. bring my 25 foot long uh, tape here I am gonna place the tape just for like demonstration purposes only like where I'm gonna do my jump challenge here as you guys know I'm in the pit here this is the pit crew here I uh, live in New Jersey so you guys know who I bash with and stuff like that this is a really a uh, favorite like a bash's dream heaven right here this is called the pit here I'm gonna put this tape here we're gonna launch this thing over that cliff over there I'm gonna launch my crazy next up M2C beefcake here uh, yeah, as you guys know, three videos back that I built this thing here over the winter time. M2C chassis, got the power happy brusher servo, stock spectrum electronics. It's been holding up like a like a beast this thing. Uh, just got my M2C shot caps on. So this thing is Vidivon front and rear bulkheads. So this thing is like an all M2C drive shares all around. You're gonna bash guys. <laughs> you know these stock armor rigs are. Uh, you know you definitely bend stuff when you bash in them. If they're old stock, you know, you're gonna be bashing them and breaking parts. When you replace the parts, just go M2C, pretty easy. Uh, yeah, for this jump challenge, it'll be two jumps I'll be doing. I'll be doing a lone jump off of this hill over here. And I'm gonna try to do a, a beautiful zinger like East wants. You're gonna get your zinger there, East Tactics. Off that, and send it. East Tactics jump challenge, here we go. Let's get that zinger. jump so you can clearly see that I did clear 25 feet no problems of course multiple different angles here so you know you get an idea in relationship to the uh, hill where the uh, so this will pretty much go 40 feet from the from the uh, ramps to that little baby hill right there there you go 40 feet okay that was um no ramp hitting not bad so the entourage should come back home Motorwire out. All right, guys, you're now now with 25 feet away from 
the hill is. That's 25 feet away from the hill. We're gonna go ahead and send this out here, see what the height. We got distance. Now we're gonna get the, uh, I guess, gliding time or zinger time. High time. Here we go for this one here. We got the measuring right over here. Force Hobby's uh, 8K video here. Now I did the geometry over here. So I know it's very, very good to the hill here. So I think I can do it here. Speed cycle, here we go. All right, that was nice high time guys. And it landed right over here. So it was like 30, 40 feet. Okay, okay, one more shot here for speed here. I think I want to do one more. You know how he is. He's never happy with anything. Here we go again. Sure. 8S EXP. This is Speed Cycle certified, guys. So I don't think you can go out there and just do Speed Cycle stuff. This is certified. Look at that, guys. So let's see this here. I think it just blew up a tire. It's all right. We'll, we'll get on. We got 25 feet over here and right here. So it's like 40, a uh, good, all right, 10 feet. All right, so maybe about 40 feet, let's say. 40 feet here. Thanks for watching. Thanks, these tactics here. For, I think he's hopefully he'll post my video there first for if I submit it by tonight. And I hope you guys can go over my method here, my crazy force hobbies method here that I did. Speed cycles jump two was really good too. That's gonna be a double double whammy for the videos there. Short, short and sweet. And uh, let me know how I did uh, these tactics there. I couldn't get that perfect zinger, but hey, uh, it was fun though. Just shooting this thing off the cliff and the fan overheated. Temperatures are uh, it's fine though. It still runs fine. It's n it's not broken or anything. Make sure you have a durable car, guys. You don't want to go out there and break your car for a jump challenge here. So, uh, built, built to bash. That's right. So, when it's considered to be um, hang time, I think when it's right where it leaves the ramp, when it's completely airborne, that's when you're going to count those seconds in the air right there. You guys want to count some seconds there for my speed cycle uh, tribute there, jump there? Uh, you know, go, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, do it. You can count the seconds if you guys want. The feet, maybe like 60 feet I got out of it, 50, 60 feet. I don't really go too crazy, but they got pretty high though. So it doesn't have to be high guys. You could be like a long dart, like a long drive, like even just 10 feet, 15 feet off the ground. Just let it hang, man. Just let it go. I think Aldo's going to get this one. Aldo's got that section there that he can, uh, that perfect like ramp hill he has to go pretty, pretty far distance. So I think he kills me in the distance. But of course, I have to work with other stuff here. I have to make stuff here to work with me if I want to get you know long range obviously thanks for watching guys force hobbies out like subscribe you all take care and good luck out there to all the guys good luck do it that's about 40 feet to that mound of dirt in front of me and here comes the udr
Gonzoids here, getting ready for the June East Tactics Long Jump Competition. This is my Typhon 6S. Uh, I got hot racing, front and rear hubs, uh, AXB front brace, steering, upgraded bearings for the steering, a 50 millimeter fan that uh, just mounted with, uh, put a hole through the rear brace right here and just kind of zip tied on it seems to work pretty well no problems yet i'm running the titan 3s uh tires i got the arma bash bumper on the front um did a little modification to the battery compartment the center differential is running 200,000. The front differential is running 60,000. The rear, I'm running 20. Seems to work pretty good. All right. Uh, this is my jump. It's uh, uh, 26 inches tall. That's where I'll be trying to do my distance and do a shot out that way. Shot out. Ready? Yeah. Here, put the tape measure right here at the beginning of the ramp or the end of the ramp there, okay? Can you go right here? Yep. Okay, walk forward to me. See where this foot my foot is right here? Mm -hmm. Leave the tape measure right there. Like hold it right there or leave it? Hold it right there. Okay, now walk forward to me. See that little line right there? Yeah. Hold it right there. Okay, walk forward to me. Right there. Uh, bounce to about 60 foot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I was uh, into the RCs in my 20s got out of it for about 15 20 years uh, now back into it uh, found that i really enjoy the arma I used to run savage hpi was my go-to and uh getting back into it and finding these and the new power of electrics has really pulled me back into the hobby thank you for watching i appreciate you thank you oh uh, well i'll do a tech video on the uh creighton here sometime in the near future i got some tips and tricks from the 90s that people just seem to have forgotten about so some other little things all right thank you guys
Hi guys, this is Brad JRC and I am taking on the East Tactics June Long Jump Challenge. So I'm going to be using my Mahalian, uh, which is a stretched Italian with a Mojave chassis with crate and arms and all that on there. Uh, hub, crate and hub, sorry. And we've got four ramps over the back there and we are going to start doing some sends on there. And uh, let me take you around the car and show you what I'm going to use. So this is my Armour Mahalian. We are running a titanium scorched chassis. So it's a Mojave chassis. We've got the custom RC top bottom hinge pins. We've got the titanium scorched standoffs, custom RC front hinge pins, custom RC tower to tower braces and center braces. We are running the Beefcake M2C center drive shafts. And we have got different customs motor block under there. And this is running the Max 6 with a 1650. And this is on a 20 tooth pinion on a standard spur in the middle. And we have got the M2C pistons in the suspension. And we are also running custom RC hubs all the way around. So this is what I'm gonna use for the jump competition. East Tactics Long Jump Competition Not that one That's just a little warm up Right, June East Tactics Long Jump Competition Attempt one Nice! <laughs> East Tactics, June 2022, long jump competition, Italian. Nice! Nice spark is off the back there. Failed attempt. <laughs> nice. Get a bonus footage. Oh no! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Fluff that one up. <laughs> All right, guys, what did you think of those first five jumps entered in the jump competition? Let me know your thoughts. Who do you think is edging out who for the first five? And I'll stay tuned for the new ones. Remember to check the description of this video to check out the links to our sponsors, provide some participation. Jump over to Garage Life RC or 3D RC or buy some batteries. If you wanna get a discount on the batteries, make sure you look closely at the description because the code to use is a little bit different and the link is a little bit different. Um, and let me know if you have any problems getting a discount there. You can also get a discount from 3DRC by using the word EAST at checkout. All right, guys, I will see you in the next five entries. EAST Tactics, out.